Hi, welcome back. We unboxed the Crow Panel Advanced 5 ESP32 S3, and it's an interesting device. It's got a lot of AI enabling features, and so you want to check out that video to get all the specs. Then I show you my method per for preserving your Arduino IDE libraries and then using the libraries that are recommended by Elecro with the Crow Panel. They specify to copy their versions of the libraries into the libraries folder, which would overwrite your old ones. So I just renamed the Arduino folder, create a new Arduino folder. We're going to get into some example sketches. Some of these sketches use uh, crow tail, essentially peripheral devices that I didn't have, so I skipped those. And then there were other ones with the radio modules where essentially the scenario required two of the same radio modules, which I don't have access to. We're going to check out Meshtastic in the next video, so stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, see here? Don't update your libraries. <laughs> I learned the same thing with the, the TTGO T-Display S3. It has very similar limitations, and so you're going to want to watch this video and make sure you understand clearly that <laughs> what, what the requirements are. Yeah, uh, especially, let's see, let's get the board configured. So we're looking at the ESP32 S3 dev module, uh, flash size is 16 megabytes and then we go back in here in the partition scheme partition scheme is huge app three megabyte no ota one meg spiffs and last but not least ps ram is set to ps ram opi ps ram yeah so then we would just need to select the correct serial port yeah also you have to use the ESP32 board support version 302. So we'll go into Boards Manager and search for ESP32, and you see I have 302. It's not the latest, but if you go to the latest, you'll have inconsistencies with the LVGL stuff. Okay, so first up is Hello World, and if you follow my channel at all, I always start out with Hello World. If you can't do Hello World on whatever device you are <laughs> intend on using, then you, you're not going to get very far. So it's always good to start with the basics. So we'll go ahead and send this Hello World. It's basically going to loop every one second, and it's also going to increase the counter. So that counter plus plus. So that, that's an interesting approach. Okay, Hello World 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay, it doesn't get any simpler than that. <laughs> uh, all of their sketches seem to have a, a lot of information in the serial monitor, so check that out. This one's going to show images from an SD card. Yeah, so on the back you have to switch. There's two little dip switches on the back. Let's see. So you have to s switch the first switch up and leave the second switch down. Let's take a closer look at that. Yeah, so for TF card mode, you have to have the first switch on. And I used a little round toothpick to flick it up there. You can barely see in there. I got the camera close enough. Now your images have to be sized for the resolution of the display. The Crow Panel Advance 5 is 800 by 480. I didn't use their bitmaps. I used some of my own. Yeah, you can see the SD cards initializing. Let's check the resolution. Yeah, 800 by 480 is the image size. Okay, and let's check out in the serial monitor there. Refreshing image three. There we go, image number three. And I think it's every five seconds refreshing image four. I like how they do the little transition. <laughs> that works pretty good. Image five. All right, so that's, that's a great example sketch. You could probably load as many images as you want. Okay, lesson eight. This was a fun one. This is sending an AI prompt to a large language model. So, and, and I learned something. I learned how to use the NVIDIA large language model website here. Yeah. What am I looking at there? Oh, yeah. Uh, for some reason, the Elecro libraries did not include Arduino JSON, so I had to install that. I got a error compiling and went ahead and installed it and then we were fine. So uh, let's see, so we're going to connect to Wi-Fi. Yeah, you have to have this URL here. I'm going to use the same uh, library that they use. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the same model, I mean. Okay, so we're exploring models and I'm gonna filter. Yeah, you see I created a login. It's free, so you should go check it out. That build.nvidia.com. And it's got a whole bunch of different models. They were using Meta Llama 3.1, yeah, 3.1405B instruct. So you click on that model and you get your API key because that's how you authenticate your client back to the website. I'm not going to show you my API key. It's up there in the code somewhere. Yeah, so there's the prompt. Write a limerick about the wonders of GPU computing. Okay, and we got our answer here. So we connected to Wi-Fi. Yeah, there's your prompt. And here's our response. Here's a limerick about GPU computing. There once was a GPU so fine, whose parallel processing was divine. It crunched with great zest through data at rest and made complex tasks truly shine. Ugh, almost a tongue twister. I'm going to copy that and paste it. There you can see. There we go. Uh, uh, that was their example, and I got the same response that they got. So we're going to try something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to send another prompt. Let's see. What can you tell me about <laughs> the Shotoku Check channel on YouTube? <laughs> so, Llama's not up to speed with me, apparently. Yeah. What can you tell me about the Shotoku Tech channel on YouTube? And we'll go ahead. The, the only drawback with this particular program is you have to compile it every time to send that prompt. It would be cool if there was an interactive way to send one prompt after another and receive one result after another. So, but that's why you use example sketches. So you can build on this and find some way to send multiple prompts one at a time. That would be interesting. Yes, yeah, so we're going to compile this again. There, it's done uploading. Here we go down in the serial monitor. We're connecting. Well, it's getting a little hoppy there. Easy now. There we go. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any information about a YouTube channel called Shotoku Tech. You didn't try very hard, Llama 3-1. Yeah. <laughs> it's possible it's a relatively new or small channel. Well, it's not new. And thanks to the 12,000 subscribers almost, it's getting larger. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to suggest any options, though. Yeah. So stay with the Shotoku Tech channel whatever you do. <laughs> okay, I, I really enjoyed this one and it gets me more into AI. I want to get more involved with machine learning and artificial intelligence. You're going to want to look down below for the link to the product page, the Elicro Advanced 5. And it has a lot of features. We're going to check out the Mesh-tastic wireless module in the next video, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. All right, and I've got a playlist going for the Crow Panel Advanced 5, so leave a comment down below, give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.